What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Serenity1225, here from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas with yet another Latafa perfume review. Another fragrance review by way of my favorite, okay, my favorite uh, Middle Eastern house. The House of Latafa. Yes, bitches, I'm back with yet another reveal. <laughs> um, so today I have the uh, distinct pleasure of reviewing this fragrance right here. This is Yara. Okay, this is Latafa Ladies Yara EDP. Um, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle i purchased it from joma shop on february 14th 2023 uh it was 19.99 originally but because it was valentine's they had a coupon so i got it for 19 dollars and 16 cents bitch i got a hell of a discount <laughs> how you do it so um this is supposed to be, you know, I've done my little researching or whatever, and it's supposed to be a clone or inspired by version of Dior's Poison Girl. So this is going to be a dupe and an inspired by or a clone. I don't own the Poison Girl, so I can't confirm whether or not it's a clone, but I can tell you that if this is in any way shape or form resembling the dior poison girl i'm gonna need that poison girl in my life okay mm -hmm. so this fragrance was launched in 2020 it has top notes of heliotrope orchid tangerine heart notes of gourmand accord tropical fruits base notes of my whole my 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 holy trinity uh vanilla sandalwood and musk big baby anytime those three are present in a fragrance i tend to like it a lot i tend to like it a lot a lot so amazon has the edp the 3.4 ounce edp for 30 dollars and 10 cents people and initially when i wrote down the information it had a 4.3 out of five stars rating that i went back a few days later and then it had a five out of five stars rating on amazon so <laughs> i'm telling you they they trying to tell the kid that this is phenomenal this is a fee nom of a fragrance okay so Walmart has it for $34.95. So it would appear as though Juma Shop had it for the cheapest and it was $19.99 on Juma Shop. Uh, I'm not sure. I know that Juma Shop is having a Mother's Day sale. So you can go on over to their website and see if they still have the Yara ladies um, for under $20. Okay. So we got main accords of sweet vanilla tropical fruity floral musky woody okay yara is the ethereal and woody scent that opens with energizing fragrance with oud and musk notes the fragrance has best answer to the other clones and the perfume is for men and women well this is the the women's yara because they have the men and this is the the women's own and this is supposed to be a dupe of poison girl by dior oh god mm -hmm. yara is an exquisite high-end arabic perfume awaken your daring senses between tropical aromas elegant aphrodisiac notes you heard what they said they said we are aphrodisiac baby and as the minutes go by, you will feel sparkling, sweet, and warm tones with a powdery, fresh zeal. Seal. Seal. Sweet, soft, feminine fragrance focused on vanilla and orchids. The top notes open lively, 
fruity and floral with mandarin, heliotrope, and orchid. Tropical and gourmand notes fill the heart, followed by a velvety base of vanilla, sandalwood, and musk, honey. Listen, everything about this so far is just so sexy, honey. I feel sexy. And I haven't, I haven't even put it on my hand yet for you people. Mm -hmm. Yara is a delightfully playful feminine perfume that enchants with its creamy, fluffy notes. Yara is all about fragrance, style, and innovation, honey. Innovation. Sexual chocolate. Latafa serves fragrances with an aspirational taste of international culture. So I went, I was like, okay, since I don't have the Dior girl, I just wanted to get an idea of some of the notes that go along with Dior Poison Girl. And the main accords are vanilla, sweet, almond, powdery, citrus, amber, nutty, fruity, woody, warm, and spicy. Oh, yes. So, I think that the Latafa version has, you know, quite a few of those notes in the original Poison Girl by Dior. So, this is how Yara comes, okay? It's this light pink um, box with some white flowers on it, okay? So, I'm always here for... Latafa's packaging because to me it comes across very high end like even the box is sparkling a little bit I don't know if you can see this but the box is sparkling darling so let's get into it people let's get you know we came here to do crystal we're not gonna be stuck on stupid for no box honey so this is how okay this is how the bottle looks can we say sleek can we say sexy? I mean, this is just giving. This this pack, this uh, bottle is just giving for the perfume gods, honey. Giving for the gods. So let's get into spraying it on camera. And then I'll give you guys. Okay. Mm. So... I even forgot that I had this in my collection. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, it's not going to stay, so whatever. Hey! So, I did forget that I bought that um, on Valentine's Day as a gift to myself, bitch. Judge your mama. And, um... I don't think I've used it a whole lot. I probably used it once or twice. Yesterday would have been one of the times that I used it. I actually did a video yesterday, but honey, I was telling you guys that the Faka was the Yara. <laughs> so I had to do a new video. But this, oh wow. Listen, if you don't know me by now, you ain't gonna never know me, YouTube. You ain't gonna never know me. This does not start off very aggressive. She is very sweet and playful and sexy and flirtatious and powdery and creamy. That's what she is. That's the kind of girl that Yara is. Like she to me she's youthful. You know, they have they have all of these florals in it and they have um citrus by way of tangerine. And they have tropical fruits. I would have liked if they, if, if my um, research would have yielded more of the tropical fruits so I can get an idea of it. But of course, I'm very, very pleased that it has the, the, the trinity of notes that I love in my fragrances, which is the vanilla, the sandalwood, and the musk honey. And for this to have a five out of five star rating on Amazon, like this is this has to be the goat, okay? Mm. So we're we're feeling gourmand and woody and ethereal and we're feeling very fluffy and powdery 
and feminine and soft and dainty. That's what we're getting right now, people. We're getting those notes. But powdery is the main note that is really standing out to me, like powdery and creamy. That's what I'm getting from Yara. I, I think that this is, an, they use the word exquisite, and it really is, an exquisite fragrance, right? But it doesn't scream crystal. Why I say that is because we all know that I am obnoxious and abrasive when it comes to my fragrances. I like my fragrances to be loud and in charge, honey. Now, she is not that loud because she's very feminine, honey. She is. She's feminine. And she's flirty and she's cutesy. Like she's giving me the girl from the valley. <laughs> you know, but there's, there's nothing wrong with her. Like she is absolutely beautiful and she is so feminine, so sweet, so sexy. She is sweet, okay? Not like in a over, overly in your face type of sweetness. But it has that gourmand note in the background that is giving me just a little bit of um, candy, um, cotton candy. Just a little bit of it. Not a whole lot of it. And I think the vanilla is also kind of adding to that. But she's beautiful, honey. Yes, I'm beautiful, damn it. And I think that this is really nice. I wore it yesterday. And then I went and I... This morning, I smelled the shirt that I sprayed the Yara on. And I was surprised because, okay, when I sprayed it on my skin yesterday and I was still able to smell it on the shirt that I wore yesterday, I'm going to tell you people that, that Yara, Latafa Ladies Yara EDP has longevity. So that was probably well over eight hours that I had sprayed on my shirt and it was still very much present. Again, Yara is not in your face, abrasive, obnoxious, loud. No, she's very feminine. She's very soft and sexy and flirty and cute and playful. She's all of those things. And I like that. I like that. So I can, I can switch it up you know, with these Latafa fragrances because I can go with masculine and bold and ood obsessed to I'm flirty and I'm sweet and I'm powdery and I'm creamy. I can do that too. So that's what ladies, Latafa's ladies Yara EDP is giving to me right now. I love it. I do love it. Like, I'm not going to be reaching for this fragrance every day, but... I'm not mad at it at all. I think that this is very, very well made. And I think that for the ladies that love to be very feminine in their fragrances, this will work for you guys extremely well. It really would. So I'm not mad at it, but you know, we all know what my fragrance DNA is, which is very aggressive. Um, I had, I had, I had a dude recently tell me he had the testicular fortitude to try and diss my fragrances. Talking about, oh, they smell like old lady. It smells like your mama. Okay. Don't you dare come for me and my Latafa fragrances because you don't know what quality fragrances is, sir. How the audacity, the sheer audacity. Listen, I had to gather myself because I was getting ready to punch him. Like, do you know who I am? I do karate. <laughs> Listen, I will fight. Listen, I got these hands, people. I got these hands and I will fight for my, my fragrances, especially my Latafa. You're not going to talk about my Latafa, okay? We're not going to do that, sir. We're not going to do that, sir, because I'm going to have to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. I'm sorry, people. I'm keeping that. <laughs> I was just getting just a little excited and switching into another accent. I think that was a Trini accent. Listen, I try. I try to do accents because I don't want to be monotone in my uh, videos and I want to be somewhat entertaining. So, listen, love, ladies, Latafa, ladies, Yara. She's very sophisticated, she's elegant. 
okay? She's eloquent. She's creamy. She's powdery. She's gourmand. She's sweet. She's very understated. That's the word I want to say about it because she's not going to be that in-your-face type of girl. That's not who she is. But she is fabulous, darling. She's absolutely fabulous, darling. And I would recommend it. For under $20, you're getting an EDP, a 3.4 ounce EDP that has longevity well over eight hours. Yes, I am going to recommend it. Listen, people, I got another review I have to do. So that's my time for Latafa's Ladies Yara. You can go on on to Joma Shop. They had it for $19.99. Uh, Amazon had it for $30.10. And then Walmart had the testicular fortitude to have it for $34.95. I do declare, honey, they are losing their mind, honey. Anyway, people, that's my time. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Here we go. Peace.